Hi guys, welcome back to Ladenza Crochets. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. My name is Liz. Kindly subscribe and join the family. In this tutorial, we're going to make this top that you can wear either with a skirt or with a trouser. You can also tuck it in if you want. And I hope you're going to enjoy creating this because it's very simple and you'll be done in a very short period of time. Grab your materials and let's get into it. The following are the materials that you're going to need. Medium weight yarn. I'm using Winter King. Then a four millimeter crochet hook, some stitch markers, a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and a measuring tape. The other thing you're going to need are the measurements. Uh, these are the shoulders. Here we have the armpits, and we have the waist, and then we have the bust. And that means you're going to measure the bust. The first measurement that you're going to need is the bust measurement. Then you're going to need the measurement from your waist to the armpits. And then you're going to need the measurement from your armpits to the shoulders or the full length of the top, which is from the waist to the shoulders. So get those measurements and let's get into it. Begin with a slip knot. And our starting chain is going to represent the bust measurement of the top. So you're going to chain a multiple of 10 that will give you your bust measurement. So mine is 36. So I'm going to begin by chaining 100. And then I'll confirm whether 100 is enough for me before proceeding. So after five chains, I've just done my first five chains. And I'm going to pull out the hook. Then put it into the first chain and put it back into the loop uh, into the loop of the fifth chain and then from here i'm going to continue chaining up to 100 we don't want a top that is too tight and therefore when you're measuring we're not going to stretch out the work too much so I'm giving this a little bit of a stretch and 100 is taking me to 16 inches without stretching too much. 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 and that is not enough to get me to 36. Therefore, I'll chain 20 more. Reason why I'm chaining 20 is so that I can end at 120 because the multiple that I get, I want it to be divisible, to be an even number. So do 100, 80, 120, 140 and so on. Make sure that after you divide your chain by 10, you get an even number. So I'll do up to 120. So I'm at 120. I'll measure this out again while giving it a little bit of a stretch, not too much. We want to ensure that our top is not too tight. And when I give it a small stretch, it's getting me to 19. I wanted to get to 18, but I can work with 19 because I want a top that is loosely fitting. So that means the 120 chains can fit somebody with a bust measurement of between 36 to 39. It can actually go up to 40. So if your bust measurement is between 36 to 40, you can work with this. Then you're going to pull that loop through the first loop like that to connect the chain. And then we're going to chain one and go into this loop, into the chain, into the first chain and place a single crochet. A single crochet is inside your hook into the chain, yarn over and grab a loop. You'll get two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of them. Go into the next chain, place a single crochet into it, place a single crochet into the next chain and into all the chains all the way around the chain. At the end of this row, I should have a total of 120 single crochets. If you began with 100, you should have a total of 100 single crochets. So just work your single crochets around the chain. I'll meet you at the end. Once we get to the last chain, we're going to 
slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to complete that first row so right here put your hook through that first stitch grab a loop and pull through that's row one done then we're going to chain one and turn to begin row two at the end of every row we're going to be chaining one and turning so for row two we begin in the first stitch with a single crochet then a single crochet into the next stitch then next we're going to do a chain so we're going to chain eight then we're going to count nine stitches and do a single crochet into the ninth stitch so we are skipping eight one two three four five six seven eight into the ninth put your hook through do a single crochet right there and a single crochet into the next stitch then chain eight again skip eight stitches and work a single crochet into the ninth stitch followed by another single crochet chain eight again skip eight stitches then single crochet into the ninth stitch again chain eight skip eight stitches work a single crochet into the ninth stitch and into the next stitch a single crochet and then keep going with this pattern chaining eight skipping eight and working two single crochets into the next two stitches At the end after chaining eight you should have a total of eight stitches remaining so that's one two one two three four five six seven eight and then we're going to slip stitch onto the first single crochet that we did that's the end of row two then we're going to chain one and turn to begin row three we begin row three in that very first single crochet and we're just going to work the first single crochet then the other single crochet will work it when we come into the end then we're going to chain eight skip over to the single crochets and do a single crochet on the first single crochet then a single crochet into the next single crochet chain eight work the single crochets chain eight then work into the single crochets then repeat this to the end of row three At the end you're going to chain eight then work the last single crochet into this single crochet right here then slip stitch onto the first single crochet to complete the row chain one turn to begin row four we begin row four in this very first single crochet that we've just worked the slip stitch into 
so single crochet then single crochet next chain 8 work the single crochets next chain 8 again then single crochet chain 8 to the single crochets and repeat to the end the end you're going to have the last chain chain eight then do a slip stitch onto the single crochet at the beginning of the row slip stitch chain one and turn to begin row that's row five in row five we begin with one single crochet into that very first stitch and then we're going to work the other single crochet as you come to the end chain eight And repeat the pattern to the end. At the end after chaining we're going to do the last single crochet then slip stitch chain one and turn to begin row six so we're going to work row six row six the same way we worked row three row seven will be the same as row four and we're going to repeat this until we get the length from the waist to the armpit After a total of 32 rows, I have the length from my waist to the armpit. If you want a longer top, you can keep going with the rows. You don't have to do the same number as mine. And the length that I have right now without stretching is at 8. I want to get to 9, but then I'm going to do a reduction at the bottom part of the top at the end. And therefore, that's going to increase the length from 8 to 9. Now, for this particular part, make sure that you end with the chain 8 and then slip stitch. In the first single crochet right there and then you're going to chain one and turn we're going to split the top into two equal parts so that you work the front part and the back part separately and this is the reason why i mentioned that you should have uh, a multiple of 10 that gives you an even number because you want to be able to divide the top into two equal parts now if i count the chains the parts that have the chains they should be 12 so this is one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, and 12. So one side is going to have 6, the other side is going to have 6. So I'll count 6 from, from the point where we have our loop and the hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then I'm going to mark this second single crochet after that 6. So we're going to work this front part on its own. And when we're done, we're going to work the, the back part. I've already chained one and turn, and I'm going to begin with this first single crochet. We won't work on this one, so we're going to work into the first one, and we're going to place two single crochets into it. Then we're going to start reducing the chains in order to achieve the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder length. I should have mentioned that you needed the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder length, and therefore we've been working eight, eight chains. We're going to reduce them to seven. So chain seven. Then work the single crochets, chain seven, work the two single crochets, and work till you get to the to the stitch before the stitch marker. Just chain in seven in between. So after the last seven chains, we're going to work two single crochets in the first single crochets, in the first single crochet right here. So into this stitch, place two single crochets. Chain one and turn. After decreasing in the previous row, we're not going to decrease in this row. So we're going to work seven chains in between for the next row. We can call it the second row after the, the second row after the armpit. So the two single crochets, then you're going to chain seven. The two single crochets are one into each of the two because we already have the two single crochets. So one single crochet in each of the two. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then place two single crochets, chain seven. Two single crochets next. Repeat to the to the point where we've started with the single crochets right here. Then one single crochet and one single crochet into the next single crochet. We are done with that row, row two, chain one and turn to begin row three. Again, we're not reducing in row three, so we're working it same way we've worked row two. So we'll be reducing after every two rows. So now this is a row that is going to have seven single seven chains in between. Then the next row is going to have six. So let me work this row, then I'll meet you at the end. I'm at the end, and at that end, we have the two single crochets, then chain one and turn to begin row four. And row four is going to be a reduction row. That means the chains will be six in between. So we start with the two single crochets, one in the first stitch and another one in the second stitch. Chain six. Then work the two single crochets. Chain six. The two single crochets next. Chain six. And repeat to the end of that row. I 
I'm done with row 4, which is a reduction row, and that means row 5 and 6 will not have a reduction. So the chain in between row 5 and 6 will be 6 of them. So I'll work 5 and 6 and then come back to reduce in row 7. As you reduce, you need to measure and see whether you get into your shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder measurements. Mine is 15. And right now I'm at 16. So you're going to reduce until you get to your shoulder to shoulder measurements that means i'll do one more reduction and then measure to see whether i've gotten to my measurements so i'm in row five i'm working five and six without the reduction that means the chains in between are six I'm at the end of the row, the second row without reduction. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And this row is going to be a reduction row. So previously we did 16. So we're going to do five in this one. Start with a single crochet in the first stitch and a single crochet into the next stitch, then chain five. Then work the single crochets. Ne next, I'm going to get my, my stitch marker and mark this row just so I can know the row that I reduced because I'm losing count of the row. So I'll just mark it so that I know this is a reduction row and the second two rows should not be reduced. Then I'll chain five and work the single crochets. Chain five, work the two single crochets. Then I'll repeat to the end. Then the next two rows will have five chains each. So this is after the two rows without reduction, as you can see. And I'm just going to measure this while stretching a little bit to see whether I'm getting to the 15 inches, which is my shoulder to shoulder measurement. And when I do, it gets me to 15, as you can see. And we are done with the reducing. That means from this row till we get to the top part of the shoulders, we are only working with five chains in between. Now, in order to get to the shoulder to shoulder measurement, you need the length of the sleeve length that is or the length from your armpit to the shoulders and that for an adult is between um eight to nine inches and you need to do this while stretching a little bit because you don't want it to be too loose on the sleeves or on your yeah on the sleeve so when i stretch this it's getting me to around 4.5 and i'll just keep going till i get to eight inches and i'll be back and tell you how many rows i'll have done to get me to the eight inches if you're a size large you might need to go up to nine like I've mentioned, an adult sleeve length is between 7 to 9. I'll, I'm working mine with 8. So right here, I've done a total of 20 rows from the armpits to the shoulders. And when I measure this, it's going to get me to the 8 inches that I mentioned. If you need to get to 9, then you will need to do some more rows. So that's 8 inches when slightly stretched. Now we're done with that one part. So we're going to chain one and cut off the yarn at that point. Pull through and fasten. Next, we're going to go on and do the exact same thing that we've done on this side. On the back part so determine um, we're just going to go to this stitch marker that we we placed pull it out start with a slip knot and we're going to reattach the yarn on to that stitch where the stitch marker was 
just do a slip stitch right there then chain one and go into that single crochet with two single crochets then we're going to start with the reduction that is the seven rows same way we did on the other side so chain seven go into the single crochets with single crochets then you can mark the reduction row so that it becomes easier for you to keep track of the rows then chain seven again work in the single crochets with one single crochet into each of the stitches chain seven then work the two single crochets chain seven the two single crochets next chain seven then the two single crochets again chain seven then into this single crochet that we have at the end we're going to place two single crochets into it and then that's our turning point so we're going to chain one and turn from this point until we get the 20 rows we're going to repeat what we did on the other side and therefore the next two rows will be rows of seven chains then the row that follows will be a reduction which will get you to six chains and continue to the end i'll meet you back here once i have the same exact thing that i have on this other side I'm done with that other side as you can see so right now we just need to join at the shoulders and the top will be complete so what I'm going to do is chain one and turn my work to the other side then I'll start with a single crochet into this first stitch then I'll get the other end and I'm going to connect that other side with a slip stitch from this from the outer from the outer side like this so right there do a slip stitch then go into the next single crochet again from the outer part of the top like this and do another slip stitch there then i'll come back to this other end and do a single crochet into the next single crochet and right there we have the two single crochets connected then i'm going to change the number of chains that i'm i've been doing till i get to this end and i've been doing five if you've been doing four or seven or eight that's what you're going to do so i'll chain five and continue with this row to the end chain five do the single crochets chain five Then at the end, we're going to do one single crochet into the two single crochets, so on. Then I'll get the other end. So right here, and then I'll put the hook from the other side and do a slip stitch right there. Then go into the next stitch and do a second slip stitch and connect this end with a single crochet. Chain one and cut off the end. And at that point we are done we're going to pull through and fasten so the top part of the shoulders is joined and this is how the top looks like